Hi Scorpios and welcome to your reading for February 2019. My name is Melanie. Um, this is a general reading so it may resonate, it may not. I encourage you to take what you like and leave the rest. Hopefully some of it will be of use to you. Um, I'm using two different decks of cards today. The Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition set of which you can see the majority of the cards there and then I use um, another set of cards more like oracle cards and they're called the Dreamtime reading cards the Dreamtime is the Aboriginal Australian uh, spiritual belief system and um, I pull one card from that deck um, to get an overall theme and I'll be um, talking about that towards the end of the reading so five cards um, for the month the first card uh, representing past energy um, the fact is it may be uh, have happened in the past that may be influencing this month and that's the Ten of Coins otherwise known as the Ten of Pentacles card. Um, the present um, current issues, present sort of situation energies in the month of February for Scorpios you guys have the Knight of Cups uh, in the position of possible obstacles that may show up this month the Devil card, possible helpful tools uh, this month uh, the Chariot card and finally the Outcome card that came through for you guys uh, for February is the Ace of Coins, otherwise known as the Ace of Pentacles. And that final card there, um, lying down almost, representing the overall theme for the month. That card is called River, River and it represents movement uh, and I'll be reading from the booklet that came with those cards um, about what that card means at the end. So, starting with the past and um, recent past or further way distant past um, the card that came through for you guys was the ten of coins or the ten of pentacles so actually this card is sort of a bit about the past um, in that it represents um, can represent inheritance you know family um, things passed on through the generations whether that's uh, whether that is money whether that's wisdom whether that's n knowledge patterns you know um, dysfunctions or otherwise you know it's um, potentially about um, wealth retirement you know um, the estab established family and home life you know happiness being a long time coming and investing in things that have lasted a very long time or you know through the generations it's a card about the generations um, where we've sort of come from our, our past in that way it can represent, um, this is a 10, so it's the end of a cycle. Um, it can, this is a pentacles card. Pentacles represent um, money, wealth, jobs, tangible things, you know, practical matters. Um, so it can um, represent prosperity, the 10 of coins, gains, uh, success, um, posterity, uh, savings, money, pensions, um, things like that. Domestic economics, you would say, and and matters of the family, say the family home, and things kind of passed on and through the generation. Um, so the, through the generation. So maybe um, this has been an area of your life that you've been working on or about some um, intergenerational issues, or this could well be about um, inheritance of some sort, family home, actual money, um, or it could also be about something invested a long time ago that is kind of coming to fruition and coming to an end now and um, of course with an ending is a new beginning. Um, you know something that is inherently though very stable and has lasted um, quite a long time and, and resulted in quite a solid place right now through invest investments put in in the past in some way shape or form quite possibly to do with family matters so that's um, the past it may maybe trickling into this month of February for Scorpios and this month that energy uh, the card that came through is the Knight of Cups so um, interesting that you've got uh, a ten, 10 of coins there in the past and now we've got the Knight of Cups the Knight of Cups um, is kind of coming along and offering something, offering something um, new. This cups cards, so cups represent feelings, emotions, relationships, friendships, um, spirituality, matters of the heart. 
So it's a slow moving energy. The knight in this this knight is not charging ahead. He's very methodical. In fact, he's so slow, he's almost kind of stopped, but he's not. He's slowly arriving, slowly advancing, coming to the reception um, with, with some sort of perhaps a proposal or an offer. Um, the energy of this card is quite um, romantic and charming with a lot you know a bit of a knight in shining armor possibly a little bit too romantic in the you know overly romantic ideals a little bit too focused on emotions um, having you know the, this knight is a, is a young romantic he has a goal but he doesn't quite know how to how to get there um, quite a nurturing energy as well um, bringing a new offer or a new message um, of some sort. Um, you know, knight in shining armor, you know, they dream really big. Um, they have a lot of grace and charm. This card can represent possible um, travel and, and expansion of yourself or something coming in and being offered to you. Um, it could be uh, romantically, you know, this is a card of the cups card obviously so it could be offer of um, marriage you know kind of thing or or some other gift being offered to you that has a very beautiful emotional tone to it um, I'm thinking if it is marriage that's quite interesting because you've got the ten of pentacles the ten of coins card there in the past to do with family to do with um, those kind of roots and things passed on through the generations and here you are potentially with some at the start of uh, an offer of something new in the area of um, relationships um, that may be a little bit too idealistic or romantic um, but it may not be as well this uh, the night this could actually represent a person as well knights are generally younger people under the age of 35 generally a young man it doesn't have to be of course um, cups so it could be um, a water sign um, person so water signs are cancer Pisces and Scorpio you guys are uh, Scorpios um, or just someone who has the energy of this card you know uh, knights are often quite dynamic adventurous chivalrous romantic kind of people that come along that, that incite movement and change and are quite expansive you know they're defenders as well but they're about also transformation and um, charging into new things or like I said this guy though is quite slow in his um, forward movement there moving into the possible obstacles that may show up this month uh, what came through for you guys was the devil card not a particularly good card um, so the devil card look and in the position of obstacles I think this is a definite warning of something the devil card represents addictions it represents bondage and enslavement to things it represents our vices our obsessions materialistic kind of things um, you know can be about um, potentially you know catastrophe and downfalls the seven you know seven deadly sins um, sometimes it can be about violence or aggression of some sort being in servitude to our base emotions and drives and being very enslaved in that in potentially some unhealthy patterns in us um, that we don't want to sometimes we don't want to free ourselves from but you can actually in this card suggests that the people in this card don't know if you can quite see them but they are they look like they're sort of um, enslaved to the devil but they actually can free themselves if they choose to so um, I think this card is saying being very careful of um, deception this month are you deceiving yourself are you a slave to your own desires in an unhealthy way or are you stuck in a relationship or a dynamic um, I'm going to say even um, family patterns here because maybe the issues of families and partners and relationships coming up um, being stuck in some unhelpful dynamics there and feeling trapped um, in that um, but we always can free ourselves if we take responsibility for ourselves and um, decide to make healthy choices 
um, on that notion too, you know, this in, in representing possibly addictions too. Of course, there could be drugs, that could be money, that could be food, that could be sex, that could be work. Um, you would know what it is that keeps you trapped and enslaved to something very unhelpful and negative in your life. So this is showing up this month in the position of obstacles. So be very careful um, of sliding back into um, a place you don't want to go that you may have climbed your way out of or is around you somehow that pulls you back in um, in a very unhealthy way and pulls you backwards. Um, be very careful and wary of that. Moving on now to what may be of use, some helpful tools this month. So you have the chariot card. So very different to the devil um, energy I would say. This energy is also forward moving like the, the Knight of Cups um, but really driven with self assertion you know with a lot of power and control and victory, a lot of ambition and discipline, um, overcoming the odds and coming to a state of, of triumph. It can be a card of ex um, travel, expansion, ex exploration, going places and kind of needing to balance up that need for speed and getting out there and woohoo, you know, kind of thing and tiring yourself out versus going too slowly with something as well and actually not um, not getting where you want to go. You need to sort of find that balance of persevering with that strong driven energy. Um, it's also the energy on this card, see the light and the dark horses there. So. I would say light and dark forces and even things, you know, the masculine and the feminine, the day and the night, the sun and the moon, maybe there is that tussle going on within you with that devil card there too, um, the angel and the devil somewhere showing, showing up in your life. Um, this, the chariot card can indicate that you're about to receive some life lessons, um, things may get a bit rough and a bit bumpy, um, but you need to hang on and persevere um, because you, you do have a lot of strength and you can get through um, the obstacles and the, and the high stakes and, and overcome some difficult kind of odds. So um, this card too is about beating the competition, you know, coming out on top. So, you know, grab any energy and active forces and external help and internal drives that you have right now to push you forward and, and create some momentum into something new and to help you, in fact, move away from whatever is holding you back. You know, if there is something in that devil card there that keeps you trapped in your own head, in your own life, or in a relationship or a work situation, I'm not sure what that is. A family dynamic that is very unhelpful, um, very unhealthy and very destructive. You need to get on the chariot and you need to drive yourself away from that situation. You are in control. You, know, you can control those horses at the front of the chariot there. Um, and tell them where you want them to go. And I know you might sometimes want to bolt and just run as fast as you can. You don't, like I said, you don't want to tie yourself out. You don't want to tie the animals out there. You don't want to be flying over bumps and finding yourself turfed out of that chariot. Um, you want to make sure everyone's got enough um, energy to persevere, you know, um, and, and rest when you kind of need to. Um, but I think that's a really good thing. You've just got to get yourself out of that um, tricky situation if something shows up and climb onto the the chariot there and slowly trot away and beat beat the odds in that sense. Um, which which I think if you do do that, we have the outcome card here uh, of Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles, an Ace, a brilliant brand new beginning, and the start of something really solid. Um, pentacles, are, you know like I said in the beginning being, see that's interesting, we start with a 10, um, this reading with a 10 and now we end with an ace, so ending, beginning, um, so ace of coins is about um, riches, you know, um, fulfillment, prosperity, um, in some sort of real tangible area of your life, um, a triumph, an offer from the universe, all aces are sort of gifts from the divine, they may be, you know, interesting because you've got that nine of cups there with some new offer, potentially in a, in, a, in, a, in a relationship and this too is an, is an offer of some new financial um, offer or new work offer, a new enterprise gifted from the universe very positive. It's offering something really real, grounded and solid. Um, 
in that sense that it's something real you know this could be a pregnancy as well you know something that grows over time that has um, you know and an, a long-term outcome more likely though it's 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 about abundance and practical success and some sort of new financial or working opportunity. Um, maybe there's an unexpected gift of money which comes in, which actually I'm thinking now would make sense in light of the past energy there of the Ten of Coins and possibly an inheritance of some sort. Here we see it maybe showing up in the outcome card of the month with the Ace of Coins. Um, and maybe there is, uh, and that's really good and positive and exciting, and, and offers you a new chance and a new opportunity to find real security and stability in your life um, with, with this gift of something new that comes in. Obviously, be careful of how you manage that. And if there is some funky family dynamics, we are, and I'm thinking that because of the devil card there, watch your back. And Or if there is funky internal dynamics within you, and you know if you get given a chunk of money or a house or something that's gifted to you and you have issues controlling yourself and delaying gratification, no judgment here, I've been there, I know what it's like, you need to think what do I need to do to essentially keep myself safe, to keep whatever gift this has come in, to keep it safe so I don't squander it all because I know me, I know my tendencies and I have the potential to do this. Think think really long and hard maybe talk to someone that you trust get some advice about what to do with this new thing that's coming into your life because this new thing can offer you long term stability um, and something very solid you do not want to squander it by giving in to the devil <laughs> basically boy will you regret that you will really regret that you know so um Keep that in mind uh, very much this month. Uh, something new and wonderful is coming in on the back of something um, being gifted to you and coming in through you know, this kind of new offers showing up here, but just some little tricky energy there that may be pulling you right back into temptation. Uh, yeah, and please don't waste that opportunity, you know, especially it's coming from the, the universe, so to speak. Um, honour that, you know, honour that. Okay, and finally, um, just as I mentioned at the start of the reading now, just read from the booklet about that card river, representing um, movement and what that means as, as an overall theme for the month of February um, for Scorpios. Right, river movement. My hometown of Bellingen, that's the author talking, uh, is cut in half by a largish river that flows from the mountains out to the headland at uh, Uruganda. It is a place to swim during summer, to observe the mullet spawning in late winter and early spring. It can also be a destructive, surging mass of dirty brown water and debris during times of flooding, which are very common in our little valley. The river represents movement. The water has a source and a destination, but it always doesn't always flow straight on its journey between these two. It meanders and twists around the environment it encounters and chooses the easiest path. The river is associated with emotions, which often flow and change direction depending on the obstacles encountered along the way. Sometimes your emotions may seem to almost dry up and you find yourself stagnant and stuck. Often it will take an outpouring of emotions to fix this, like the floods that clear out the debris, your tears can help you let go of emotions and toxins. Water is fluid, a giver of life. Some Aboriginal language groups used rivers for birthing. And because of this, they are also associated with supporting new life and new growth. Hello, I think that's the Ace of Coins card there. In some places, the river's water is shallow. In others, the current is strong and it's hard to fight against the pressure to be propelled forward. There are also places of stillness and deep, dark depths where you can rest and allow yourself to heal. The message of the river is to let yourself move through emotions, cry if you need to, and don't be afraid to change direction or choose a path of least resistance. Interesting kind of theme there though for you guys uh, with something new coming into your life and I think moving things around you need to kind of go with that but also you need to resist getting too caught up in those really dark murky depths there um, of the devil and of the, the, the you know the currents of the water taking you all over the place. So Scorpio, um, 
thank you so much for watching and listening to this reading um, really grateful that you've given it your time and attention I hope it's been of some use you know what to do if you found it really useful I appreciate um, all the love and uh, I hope to see you back in March <laughs>